What's up YouTube, The Soldier Barber Life here. Hey, I'm back here with another video and I know it's been a minute. I kind of been MIA for a little bit, but you know, me being active duty military, you know, the military life be happening. So, you know, sometimes there's times where we're doing training or whatever stuff is going on. So, you know, that does dictate when I am able to be back home and when I can be doing another video. But nonetheless, I am back and I am here with another video. And in this video, I am doing a unboxing and review of the all new Stylecraft Pro Saber 2.0 Clipper, which was just released this month. So let's go. <laughs> So let's go ahead and start this video off by doing an unboxing. And one thing I can say I always like about the Stylecraft is they do a great job on their boxes. Their boxes are always uh, high quality. They have the little magnetic piece here on the front that does snap off uh, there. Let's go ahead and flip this over, read about some of the specs on this clipper. It says it has a premium DLC Echo Fix blade with the thinner and deeper ridges for a louder crunch. And that is one of the things that I've heard a lot about with this clipper is that it does have that crunch effect, something similar to the uh, Andis Masters. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how that does uh, sound because that is something that I do prefer when I'm cutting is something that does make that uh, noise so I can hear that audible noise when I'm cutting to kind of let me know if I'm cutting that hair. Also says we have a high torque low vibration brushless uh, DC motor which runs at 7200 RPMs offering more powerful efficient and quiet cutting. It comes with a lithium ion battery which provides two and a half hours of continuous runtime with 120 minute recharge. So that is definitely something I would say one of the downsides of this clipper but it makes sense being that this is a smaller clipper that it doesn't have as much battery capacity but nowadays with clippers having charging stands that come with it anytime you're not using the clipper you just throw it on the charging stand and it'll it'll work for you and it'll stay charged up uh, what also comes in here it says it includes four dub magnetic tight guards so this one does come with the uh, all new tight guards and it looks like those come with the black tight guards uh, charging stand and the cord a spare cam follower, stretch taper bracket, spare screws, mini screwdriver, three modular removal drop tops, and a cleaning maintenance kit. So let's go ahead and uh, open this up and uh, see, see everything that we have inside the box. All right, so this is what we have here. Let's go ahead and uh, pull this clipper out. We'll take a look at this first. Right, so here it is. Um, this is definitely uh, on the smaller side as far as clippers. Um, I would I would compare it similar to the uh, Stylecraft Instinct as far as the uh, size, definitely comparable to that. Um, a little bit wider, I would say, all the way through, but um, definitely feels good in the hand. Um, I always prefer uh, smaller clippers or ones that are more standardized size. Uh, the difference between this one, the original Sabre, I did love a lot of specs about it, but I just really couldn't get over the size of it. I, I, I don't prefer, like I never you never liked like the Andis Master, so like having a larger clipper that was also heavier like that, that just wasn't my kind of preference and stuff on there. So uh, with them coming out with this, I'm, I'm really excited about using this and uh, seeing what it's all about. But as you can see here, we got the Sabre 2.0, digital brushless Stylecraft motor, uh, Stylecraft logo there. We have the three dots on the front, which indicates the battery life. We've got the uh, power switch on the side. We've got the uh, five click levers there. Let's pop this uh, cover off of there. And then we have our uh, Stylecraft Echo Blade. So this is the blade that uh, everyone's been talking about that provides that sound. Uh, this is definitely, I would say, kind of like a vapor blade. So not fully a fade blade, not fully a taper blade, but a fusion between the two. And then uh, you can see the uh, cutters that we have on there. Those are the shallow cutters on there. And then uh, right out the box, this does come pretty zero gapped. Uh, so shouldn't have any issue removing those uh, guidelines. 
and then you have the removable bracket that comes off of here that's magnetic which exposes everything for the cam follower for easy cleaning and you do get other ones that you can interchange this out with so you can just snap that back on there magnetically and that's how that goes all right let's go ahead and do a sound check on this battery indicators there um, when it's on three that means that it's fully charged so uh, just first impressions of that I can definitely feel that this uh, clipper has a decent amount of power to it at 7200 rpms I can definitely feel that but it's not loud uh, it's definitely a pretty quiet clipper um, not the quietest clipper but um, that I that I've ever used but it's definitely uh, compared to a lot of other clippers it's relatively quiet so let's go ahead and see what else we get in the box we do get the uh charging stand that comes with it so we have our charging stand here stylecraft logo on the front um and then the charger uh port in the back we have the four little uh rubber non-slip grips on the back of there so let's go ahead and set that inside here and that sits in there pretty flush as you can see that goes in there uh, set that down that's not going anywhere that's sitting pretty uh pretty sturdy inside there so let's see what else we get inside the box so we have the uh charger cord that we have here pretty much your standard stylecraft charger cord pretty long uh can definitely stretch to where you need it to go um, and then that just you can either plug it directly into the clipper here on the bottom or you can plug it into the uh, charging dock as well so we have our uh, tight guards here and these are the new uh, tight guards that were released by stylecraft and gamma uh, these are my favorite guards i definitely love having the uh, ability to have them be magnetic because it's just easier for you to uh, pop the guards on and off. And I feel like they're, they are, uh, they stick on the clipper better. So the four tight guards that you do get, you get the, uh, the half guard that you have here. You get your number one guard, you get your one and a half, and then you get your two guard. And uh, just comparing these to your uh, regular uh, Stylecraft guards that you would actually, uh, that you used to get, just comparing the difference between the tight guards and the regular ones let me show you that so the difference between the uh, guards that you have here your standard uh, zero guard uh, from the gamma stylecraft and then your new uh, tight guard uh, this was the one that I definitely definitely never used because I didn't like how the original uh, dub guard was like it was almost pretty much the same as a one where I'm really glad when they came out with the tight guards, they made this new concept because it's more uh, towards like the traditional like wall or babylist guard setup that you have there. And then uh, your number one, you have your tight guard here, which is a smaller, uh, shorter profile versus the original uh, number one uh, that you would get that is longer. I believe the teeth are about the same, but the uh, difference between it is the length that's on there and then you would have your uh one and a half so this was the original style craft and this is the uh tight guard one and a half uh big difference that you can see between there and then the two uh this one's a lot wider um they're about the same size as far as the same length but this one a little bit skinnier where these ones are wider so that's the difference with those guards let's go ahead and check out see what else we get inside the box all right so in this here we have the stretch bracket if you did want to take this from a click lever and make it a uh, floating lever you could put that stretch bracket on there and it'll actually open up wider uh, you get you a bottle of oil an extra cam follower a little cleaning brush and a couple little extra screws in there as well so that's nice to have uh, we get a USB type C cord um, which is great because this clipper does have two ways of charging you have the traditional charging there and on the back you do get the USB type C so you can take this anywhere and uh, charge this on the go if you need to 
and then you get your standard Stylecraft uh, red screwdriver that comes with it. And then one other dope part is that you get some interchangeable uh, cam follower or bracket covers there. So you get the gold one, you get the solid black one, and then you get the uh, tinted black one that's there as well. So I'll probably go ahead and slap the gold one on there or keep this... Uh, this transparent uh, black one on there. So we'll see however I decide to go with that. And then you get your uh, instruction manuals that come in there. So that's pretty much everything that's in the box. All right, so this is the newest clipper that I am adding to my uh, Stylecraft Gamma collection. As you can see, all my tools are Stylecraft Gamma. That is the company that I rock with. I love this company. I love the innovation. I love everything about them. So uh, this is who I decided to go with. And you can see that my uh, the theme and the colorway that I do go with is the gold and black. So what I did plan on doing is I am probably going to be moving my instinct to my uh, mobile bag. In my mobile bag, I have my uh, Stylecraft Rebel. And then I'm probably gonna put my instinct with that as well. And then I'm going to uh, put this uh, saber on my uh, on my station. And that'll be one of the clippers that goes with my uh, starting lineup. You can see already I have the Stylecraft saber uh, trimmer. So having the uh, clipper is gonna make that a set. And then I have the Gamma Boosted uh, trimmer and also the Gamma Boosted uh, clipper along with the Gamma Skin, and then the shaver that I use is the Instinct, and I have the Heat Stroke over there for the uh, Beard Straightener as well. So if you can see, uh, I already have set up on my station the Gamma Connect 3. Uh, pretty much what that does is eliminates a bunch of cords that you see here. So uh, instead of me hooking up this cord again, I'm pretty much just going to uh, take the uh, Instinct cable out pull that out of there and then i'm going to hook up the stylecraft uh, charging base to the back of there slap that in like that and boom now we are charging as you can see there uh, but that's how i kind of have that set up if you see if you look behind there i have the gamma connect three that's back there connected to all of these and that just has two cords. So instead of having a cord for each one of these clippers, I have two cords that charges all of this and that really helps me out, uh, keeps everything looking nice. But man, that, uh, that Sabre looks great on my station with all my other clippers. I really love that they are all gold now. And like I say, uh, I really love the uh, Instinct. This was my favorite clipper. So I am excited to compare the Instinct to the Saber and see how these two stack up against each other. That'll probably be a video that I do in the future um, is I will do a comparison video between the Stylecraft Saber and the Instinct, maybe some of the other clippers. And another video that I'd like to do as well is I wanna compare the Stylecraft uh, Saber the first and then the Saber two and compare the difference and contrast between those two. So uh, that is the unboxing part. I am going to be cutting my own hair uh, with this clipper and I'm gonna be using my uh, self-cut system mirror and I'm gonna be giving myself a, uh, a haircut. So let's test this out. First person that's gonna be able to get a first-hand experience on this is me using it for myself. So let's go. So one other thing that I wanted to mention that I'm really happy about is that they uh, released the black uh, tight guards. Uh, these are the guards that I do use um, for my first four guards. So I'm really glad that they uh, released these in black as well. Uh, I did have uh, the tight guards already. These are the ones that come in the Stylecraft superset. So I will be taking these off and replacing these with the black ones. Uh, which is dope because now this kind of just goes with my whole uh, theme that I have with all my tools being black and gold. I have the four black tight guards here and then I have the uh, gamma um, gold ones that are here. These are made from a uh, aftermarket company that uh, made these gamma uh, dub guards gold. 
I can drop the link in the description if that's something you guys are interested in as well. But I think that looks really dope. I have my Gamma Plus magnetic mat here with the new uh, black guards on there. And then I have the gold ones there. And you can see everything on my station now, how everything is looking. So this is definitely completes the whole look and the set of everything. That is my uh, unboxing and review of this clipper. I will be doing a comparison video of the Stylecraft Saber, the original one, and comparing it to the uh, Saber 2.0. And I'll also be dropping some more videos comparing this clipper to some of my other favorite clippers like the Gamma Boosted and the uh, Stylecraft uh, Saber. Uh, not the Stylecraft Saber, the uh, Stylecraft Instinct, which is another hot clipper on the market. So uh, look forward to that. Um, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support. Till next time, Soldier Barber Life out.